tree over there? So it's it's outside. Somewhere over here. Yes? Okay, yeah. Aaron got safe and the beehives. Gotcha! So you may want to read them. They're kind of useful. Okay, we'll do it. Letter from a friend. Yeah, so we've got a letter from a friend and we also have a letter of inheritance. Okay. Lofi, you caused a bit of stir in... Thieves Guild Headquarters when you demonstrated the power of your Thum. Not everyone is anxious for the return of the Dragonborn. I, for one, desire to see you grow and develop sub uh, your talents. Skyrim needs a true hero these days. You should turn your attention to Forsaken Cave. Understand it holds a mysterious source of power that can be unlocked by the Dragonborn. Sincerely a friend. Okay, and Letter of Inheritance. Let's see. Lofi, the name... In the name of Jarl Elisif the Fair, it is with great regret that we inform you of Belren's death. The deceased is bequeathed to a measure of inheritance, the amount of 300 gold. The Jarl's court has levied an amount of 30 gold pieces from the sum as lawfully and honorably due tax. The remainder has been commended onto the care of a trusted courier and deliverance. While all of the Jarl's court grieves with you this day, we rejoice the knowledge that the deceased was in possession of dear friends and wealth to communicate unto them. May this lawfully bestowed inheritance Proves a reminder of your enduring faith in one another and of the Jarl's beneficence, according unto you both. Who's Belrend again? I've totally forgot who Belrand is. Alright, well, whatever. Anyway, uh. So we wanna catch some salmon. I'm a fish man. Okay. Huh. I think candlelight just kind of screwed me over there. Okay, so let's wait for... Let's wait for a long time. Oh, he was the follower from Solitude. <laughs> oh, I know who Belran was. So, Belran was the bald guy that I hired from Solitude that I sacrificed to Boethia. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay. I super dig that. Okay, so now now let's do this place right-ish. So unfortunately, stealth is not exactly a strong suit of mine here. But now that we don't have cattle, candlelight running, it should be at least moderately easier. Let's see if we've got an inn on this area. So we're not supposed to kill people here? So where are these beehives? Looks like we've got a... A nice little inn here if I can just scale the rocks. Might be a little bit harder than I'm giving it credit for. Nope. Okay, looks doable. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna need. Actually, I wonder if I can just use my. Um... Okay. I wonder if I can just use my thumb for this. Probably not. Okay. Uh, let's do magic. I'm gonna do flames. And let's level up. Seeing as I might as well. Uh, seeing as uh, we're doing thiefy stuff, we might as well actually put a little bit into our sneak. Because, yeah, it's kind of garbage. Let's see. So I can make it 30% uh, more effective. Sneak success depends on visibility, movement, and light level, sound, skill level, and distance. Hmm. So I can sneak attack with with uh, 
Spells, that's kind of nice. Let's see. Once a day, outlines all humanoids that are detecting you. No, that's not that useful. Silent roll. Sprinting while sneaking executes a silent roll f a forward roll. Interesting. Okay, I'm just going to put it into sneak mastery for the time being. It'd be really nice if I had a detect life spell. That'd be appreciated. Oh, I see. Of course there's a bunch. Wait, what? Huh. I... Did I just... Did I just do that? Was just having burning hands enough? Up, oh, see bitches. Skeevers, take care of my problems for me. Goodbye. Okay. Where is key? Yeah, so I don't have a key. There's something about a sewer entrance that we've got to find around here. There also seems to be that boat. Or there's this small gap here that I can't fit through. Okay, this is this is fine. Let's keep let's keep looking. Supposedly they know where I am, but I find that somehow suspect. But then again, I've I've never really understood the uh I've never really understood the the uh like I guess Bethesda stealth system in this game. They're always just weird and awkward and confusing and hello. This looks like a decent entry point. Never mind. It's partial at best. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get around that way. Seriously, I should totally be able to crawl through that. Okay. So how do we get in here? Oh. Thank you, Skeevers, I guess. Let's just go in here. Oh. Let's see. Skyrim stealth system is better than Fallout's. Uh, yeah, probably. I don't know. Like... It's also, like, ridiculously dark. Supposedly? Someone is aware of our presence? Okay, uh, let me, let me pull out a map. Okay, clear out Erangoth's safe. And the others are, okay, I, I gotta turn off the journal here. So let's turn that off, and I'm gonna turn off those for the time being. And I can't hide that, okay. Oh, this sucks. Yeah, talk to the companion's leaders for work. I really don't want that. Do I not have a way of turning that? Ah, there we are. Okay. There we go. Now we don't have as many conflicting... Uh... Issues. Okay. So current location is... We need to go into the basement. How do we get into the basement from here? I have a question. I mean, we could just kill a bunch of merc mercenaries and just go run gun. I wonder if I could also just punch them out. 
Uh, let's see, Warframe is fun. Has decent stealth mobility, whatever. Yeah, Warframe... Warframe's stealth system is weird, though, because really the stealth is only good if you're... playing uh, certain things. I don't know, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of a game with a really good stealth system. I guess my easiest go-to answer here is... Can't see shit. My easiest go-to stealth game right now, uh, Mark of the Ninja has an amazing stealth system. And, uh, do I even have much for illusion? It looks like I'm gonna have to just sneak past and or murder that guy. Or do I? I'm really confused. How the hell do you get through this house? Where are the stairs? Use a dagger. Like, it's there, I guess. I think this is why I hated this quest initially. I couldn't figure out how to get through. And it's just confusing. Okay. Oh. Here we are. So apparently there was like a, a, a drop down point or something like that. Okay. See, so we do still have people in here. I'm just gonna keep sneaking through this incredibly dark area. I think this is the other thing. Stealth in this game is not particularly enjoyable because it's dark as hell. This, can I even get through here? No, I can't. Between the glare on my monitor and everything else, this is just kind of painful. What am I looking at here? Is this like a bedroom or a... I don't know. I really can't see anything. Okay. Well. I guess we got it. I'd I'm not I'm not a stealth guy. I've never been a stealth guy in these games. And like as much as I, as much as I'd like to enjoy this and like really get into it, it's mostly just like, good luck. <laughs> All right, uh, golden globe bill of sale, some other goodies, steal from chest. As we'll rob them blind while we're at it. Seven gold. Wow, that is not much. All right, anything in the? Oh. Oh yeah, we really could have actually just taken the 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 sewer straight through. Wow. Or not. Okay, so it's just our our easy exit. Huh. Is that one of my skeevers? I am confused. Today has been a weird day. Where are we? 
are we doing here? There's a shovel. Like, okay, so we're in the sewers. Those weren't my skeevers, which was a bit of a surprise. I guess I'll keep stealthing just because. I can keep sneak attacking things, which is kind of nice. Yeah, I don't know. I think I actually like, um... I think I actually enjoy stealth in, um... In Fallout a little bit more. Alright, so I'm just gonna go up, up to the, uh... I'm just gonna go up to the... Oh, we're here. Oh, we're here? Huh. That actually would have been nice to have spotted earlier. Yeah, playing this g game in a bright room in a dark area is painful. I don't enjoy it. Luckily, we're done with that, and I think that's one of the only places we actually have to sneak through. Okay, people are just throwing mods at me now. We should probably actually take a look at them before we go too far. Ah, huh, because if they actually improve the experience, it might not be a bad idea. Okay. Clockwork is... It looks cool, but nothing particularly useful. Yeah, it looks like most of these are just the, the neat-looking, mostly useless ones. Yeah, Clockwork, Forgotten City. What's the last one? Oh, Predator Vision. You know, I'll probably throw in... Predator Vision. Uh, not immediately, but that, that actually would be like a halfway decent mod. To get going. Okay, uh, let's get into Riften. Why can't I sprint? Oh. Dragons breathing fire in the sky. Vampires presently attacking people on the street. It's the end of the world, I tell you. I was in stealth mode. There's our answer. Okay, so let's let's go back to the, the graveyard that somehow people don't realize is a secret entrance to, uh... How do people not know that there's a giant secret entrance to the Thieves' Guild in here? Like, this is... Not quiet when it comes and goes. Well, whatever. I'll cl call it close enough. Okay. Anyway, hi. You've made a mess of things, and Maven's furious. I told you not to burn more than three of the hives. I've smoothed things over with her for now, but you can forget your cut. I didn't realize being near the uh, beehives was going to whatever. Anyway, here's what was in the safe. At least you remembered one of the things I asked. Let me see that. Arangoth sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? No idea. Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. So, apparently, just being physically near those beehives was enough to set them off. That's dumb. <laughs> oh well, anyway. Good, it's about time I met her. Don't sound so eager. It's not a social visit. It's business. Uh, what does Maven want from me? That's between you and Maven. And I prefer to keep it that way. Just keep your ears open, and your mouth shut, and you'll do fine. How would people not realize that we're the Dragonborn? I... don't have an answer for you on that one. <laughs> I make it pretty dang obvious you're holding flames. That is the first time that's ever happened in this game. I mean, I get... you're not wrong, but like, uh... It was kind of a surprise mechanically. I was just like, I guess they just set on fire. And also, I don't know, whatever. It's it's my fault for screwing it up. But I also don't care, because gold's no object. I still have, like, 500, um... I still have, like... Are you Maven Blackbird? So you're the one that burned down Golden Glow Estate. Do you have any idea what that little stunt you pulled is going to cost me? I'm I amazed you even bothered to show your face here. My apologies, Lady Maven. The only reason we're having this conversation is due to Brynjolf's assurance you won't botch another assignment. He claims you possess some sort of uncanny aptitude for your line of work. Quite frankly, I find that hard to believe. Let's see. 
Well, sorry you're disappointed. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Once again, Brynjolf sends me someone with no backbone, no determination. You have no faith in the guild? Faith? I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. Where do I begin? Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malice Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. Let's see. And that's it. One more time in case I wasn't clear. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't care. Alright, world map. Let's go up to let's go apparently to Whiterun for whatever reason. Alright, well that's easy enough. Okay. Let me think. What was I even saying? I don't I don't even remember. Yeah, I'm just kind of hoping to be done with this. I don't mind stealth in these games, but, like, the weird part with, uh, stealth in Bethesda games is, it's this, like, weird parabola. It's, like, this weird arc where it's, like, stealth is automatically shitty no matter what for, like, ages. Before you do this, gather all of the mead. Welcome. Thank you. Thank Let you. me know if you want no, anything. Please. I think I got a clean mug around here. One if it's work you need, you? how about shop? Yeah? Drink oh, for the thirsty, food okay. for the hungry. People are saying, grab mead. Gotcha. Alright, that's a bunch of mead. That should, that should now, need anything else? work. Just let me know. Oh, there once was a hero named Red okay. Oh, do we have to do like a drinking contest against this guy or something? Could be. Anyway, you. Uh, Moven said you were expecting me. I'm gonna keep this short because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard, and we're going to poison the mead. You have the poison? No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well, you know what I mean? How do I fit in? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Clever. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Let's see, how do I get to the brewing vats? Both of the buildings are connected by tunnels made by the pests infesting the meadery. There's an entrance to it in the basement storeroom of the warehouse that used to be boarded over. I've already removed the boards so the meadery would get infested. That's where you should start. What about just going in through the brewery? Sabjorn keeps that locked up tight. If you can get through that way, go right ahead. Why are you doing all this? I made the mistake of borrowing coin from Sabjorn. He's allowing me to pay it back, but he's working my fingers to the bone. He treats me like a slave. I have to do every nasty, dirty job in the meadery. There's more to this than a debt, isn't there? If this plan works, not only is my debt gone, but I'll be set up for life. Maven and I worked out a little deal. If Sabjorn ends up in jail, she's going to take over his meadery. And guess who gets to run the Blackbriar meadery in Whiterun? You're looking at him. Why bother poisoning the, the nest? Borrowing coin from yep. Whatever. Sabjorn. I guess it He's I guess it skipped past. Okay, whatever. Don't care. Goodbye. Goodbye random person. Let us go do things. You're supposed to be a what? What was that? What? Alright, whatever. Okay, now if I remember right, there are ways to just pop over the wall. There we are. Normally doesn't work, but it works beautifully right now. Alright, let's go Let's go see about this sab... sab... Jor, jor, jor. Ooh, actually. Let's see about this wheat. Gimme, gimme. 
I should probably actually bop by the, uh, the Mage's Guild, come to think of it. We'll do it after we get the metery, but, uh, I should go back to the Mage's Guild and grab all of my stuff. Uh, that I planted. Same thing, I guess, with my house. Alright. Uh, let's see, the metery. Just keep gathering these things. I want to get my alchemy up, uh, if I can. What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? Is something wrong? Are you kidding me? Look at this place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the metery in this state, I'll be ruined. I might be able to help. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Uh, let's see. Let's be a dick. You better, I uh, yell skeever. Okay, okay. No need to make rash decisions. Here's half. You get the rest when the job's done. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. How do I permanently clear the vermin? I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant Malice handle it, but he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. You got a deal. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Now I've got to clean up this mess. Well, let's close that door so he's not watching me, and we're just going to sneak right in. Alright, requires a key. Oh, I see. We have to we'd have to pickpocket it off of him. That is slightly less than doable. Oh, I guess good enough, we'll just be going in the other way. And there we go. <laughs> Uh, people are making jokes in chat about how I've, I've horribly broken my legs and stuff from jumping like that. Uh, still bothers me that we don't have raptor feet. I really need to, I really need to get the, uh, huh. How are we supposed to get in then? Uh, do you have two? Uh, poison the vat, poison the nest. How are we supposed to get in? Because I only see two entrances. Well, he doesn't even have the key. Oh, well, there's a skeever right there. Where's his key? Interesting question. Okay. I'm gonna put everybody out of business. I'm afraid to talk, even though I know it's not going to do uh, do me any harm. Let's see. Nothing else here. It seems particularly useful. Okay, so I guess we got to figure out where the key is. Huh. Got more skeevers. Maybe there's a tunnel that's uh, a bit more obvious around here. Or maybe there's a key somewhere around this guy's estate. I guess I'll just look around for a little while. We'll we'll find something. Or nothing, I don't know. Well, this is going to me make me a very wealthy lizard if and when we get to the to a place where I can sell this stuff. Okay. Let's see, the key for the door is in the other room. Yeah, I figured as much. Alright, what's this? Lusty <laughs> Lusty Argonian Maid, Volume 2. Taking this. Question, nothing. Okay, so that's food. Be nice if I had, like, key vision or something. Uh, 
Oh, hey, we've got this whole... Aha. Wait, do I have the key now? That's confusing. Anything in here? Amethyst? Take that. I guess I am taking this whole Thieves Guild thing pretty seriously all of a sudden. Wait. Read Wabajack. Wabajack. Huh. You know, I'm gonna steal this book too. Okay. Letter to Sabjorn. Sabjorn, this is my third and final offer. I feel that I've been more than generous with the amounts I've stated by your metery. There's no reason for competition to stifle both of our business. Unified, we could make Blackbriar Mead a household name and bury anyone else who tries to start a similar business in Skyrim. If you wish to accept my offer, please come to Riften and stay in my manor as a guest. I think you'll find being a part of the Blackbriar family would be both lucrative and life-saving. She's straight up threatening him. Awesome. Okay. He's the skeleton key. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd love to find a skeleton key. Let's see. Oh, hi. Expert lock. Okay. Maybe it's in here? Something in a strong, a strong box. Okay. Where's skeleton key a, uh... Is... Wow, these lockpicks are made out of toothpicks. Okay, cut. Mm. There we are. I guess it is an expert lock, so go figure it's gonna take a little while. Okay, nothing particularly good there. A haunting bird decanter. Oh, apparently I was supposed to seal that for somebody. News to me. Anything in the end table? Pots, paper. Still nothing particularly useful here, though. Okay. Anything in the wardrobe? Fork, shoulder capes, clothing. Still no dice on this this whole key front. Hmm. Can't wait until it gets a little bit darker. Once it gets darker, it's gonna. Uh, it's gonna get a lot easier for me to play video games. Unfortunately, it's one of those where my screen brightness is just it's really, really bad. I guess I'll just crank this up for the time being. Just make the game awful and white washed out for a while. All right, there we go. Now I can now I can actually see what I'm doing. Eh, close enough. Okay. So I gotta go. I guess I gotta keep looking around until we find that key. I mean, we've looted, like, almost everything of value here. Okay, it's by the door in the metery with a marker on the door. I even stole his bucket. Alright, take it. Anything in these? Nope, just apples. Which I seriously don't care about. Oh, I guess I kind of do. I used to. Lofi, Lofi used to care a lot. Now not so much, though. So. Okay, so... It's... Okay. Go through the cellar, you're not going to find the key. My problem is I don't even know where the cellar is. I'm having a particularly rough time finding anything of use here. We just have option one and two. And unless we figure out where these skeevers are coming from, I'm kind of out of luck. Unless there's like a cellar door that I don't know about. Was something we discussed unclear? Where's your cellar door? Never mind. Remember, okay. Until they're all dead. Hmm. Quest marker. So Here's the thing, like, I only have two quest markers here, and both of them bring me into the metery. Yeah, because there's the boilery, and then there's that area with that trap. Unless we actually have the key for the trap, uh, key for the door now.
Oh, wait, what? Yeah, I didn't have the hunting brew metery key, so we already got the key. I just didn't even realize I got it. Because the last time I tried that door, shit did not work. <laughs> 